Ex-Minister Walter Mzimbai explains why Mnangagwa fired Matsvengwa. So many theories are being thrown around as to what may have led to C.D. Chris Matsvengwa's abrupt dismissal by President Emerson Mnangagwa. I proffer my own based on what led to his dismissal by Mugabe in 2016. It's simply that Chris is ungovernable and does not submit to the authority of anyone let alone the collectivity of cabinet and the president. He is an all-knowing man of many words who does not know when to mute himself. On several occasions inside cabinet in 2016, he would take on Mugabe to an embarrassing point where Umengogwa himself then vice president would be the only one able to silence him with the strongest rebuke and I quote his bellow. Chris, Chris I said shut up, shut up Chris, I am your commander Chris I order you to shut up. At this point Chris would pack his cabinet file and leave in a huff. Mugabe believed in the superiority of ideas and would allow exhaustive debate on any item. But our brother Chris knowing it all, would rush out over everyone at which point Mugabe would come in to exercise his authority as chairman to restore order and decorum and the Minister of War veterans would refuse to recognize that authority. Disagreements were mainly around the agency he seemed to carry over Chinese investments which would often blind his judgment. Our cabinet team had strong characters who could withstand and fight back. I wonder though whether the current pedigree of ministers can withstand his bullish behavior without seeking the protection of Umningagwa, which may be the case here. Umningagwa himself left him out of his cabinet line up in 2018 because he was minding this disharmony he would bring in his new team. He instead appointed him special advisor but even this would not cut. It was a gamble from the very beginning bringing him back into cabinet. Exploiting his parallel authority of ZANU PF party spokesman his last press conference last week was an intrusion into other ministerial mandates and may have actually became his proverbial Waterloo. Going further to declare his ambition in his soliloquy he sealed his fate on that day. With his highly opinionated acerbic style of delivery clearly misrepresenting the collective he has been responsible for even how some of us have not found each other with our former party. No wonder across the board his dismissal has been popularly received and secretly celebrated inside ZANU-PF ranks and government. I hope at personal level he has time for reflection on many things before his next move. He still is party spokesman and may keep it but clearly many are watching whether he will continue weaponizing it against perceived and imagined enemies. Please like, comment. Share and follow this channel for more information or updates on news and entertainment.